And sometimes people will say, you know what? Andersonville was no worse than these other prisons. I kind of take issue with that. And here is a picture of the evening roll call at Elmira Prison in 1864. And I think from looking at this image, you can tell why. There was a significant difference, in my mind, between the conditions at Andersonville, if you go back and look, right, and what you see at Elmira. Number one, there's a lot more built structures or barracks for the prisoners uh, to stay in. Now, Elmira suffers from the same kind of overcrowding, which I'm going to explain and why that is in just a few minutes, that Andersonville does. So there are far more prisoners in Elmira than they could actually properly house. So you can see in the back they've set up tents, and a lot of the men do, in fact, live in tents rather than, you know, uh, actual housing. Um, but to me, I mean, this image looks nothing like, right, the images that you see uh, from Andersonville, which is not to say that Elmira was a great place to be. No prisoner of war camp is a great place to be uh, in any war, right? It's not intended to be. And who wants to spend, you know, a winter in upstate New York sleeping out in a tent? 